Listen, when Dior launched backstage, the girls were eating it up. I know because I saw it everywhere, okay? It was everywhere. But in true Ohema fashion, of course, it took me years to actually get onto this bandwagon. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a full base of Dior makeup. Before we jump into it, I'm going to link everything that I tried today right here. So definitely tap that view products tag. If it's not there, you're going to find it down below in the description box so definitely go ahead and check it out both links are going to be affiliated let's get into it first things first i'm gonna swatch the foundation because this is the one single product that everybody had been talking about and i didn't i've never even tried it let's see it's very fluid i'm gonna swatch it so this is the dior backstage face and body foundation the one thing that i actually didn't know and i almost didn't buy it was because it says face and body i've never ha actually heard anybody say that this was face and body all i've heard was dior backstage foundation okay buildable coverage so essentially you can build it up to whatever coverage that you want so it resists heat and humidity and leaves a luminous makeup look there are 43 shades of the dior backstage foundation i have here the shade number 9n 9n is the second to last deepest shade i actually went into stores and i swatched it under the sephora lights and this is the shade that i thought matched my skin tone looking at it i hope that it matches because if not i if not i'm still doing this video and then i will go ahead and order the shade number 10n this foundation is very fluid because i can hear it like moving around and when you open it it has a squeezy top go ahead and swatch it under my lights oh it's pretty though what made me think this was my shade like i know in my last video i said don't judge a foundation by the swatch but why would i go into the store and buy a foundation that is clearly blended in okay we're gonna blend it in with my new favorite brush oh no i picked the wrong shade it smells good though it looks good too. I just wish it was deeper. I think it does match my complexion and that's why I bought it. It does, it matches very, very nice. <laughs> it matches the lighter parts of my skin really, really well. I just wish it was a little bit deeper because I feel like it will look better if it was deeper. Let's go in with the primer first. I'm going to put a little bit of it on. I feel like it's going to give me more like moisturizer type of vibes. And then I'm definitely going to need my matte product over it yeah i'm gonna mix it with a milk makeup pore eclipse primer i feel like it's gonna give me like a slight mattifying effect if not it's gonna be a little too radiant especially with the finish of the foundation i'm gonna put the dior backstage on my under eyes protect it as possible because i don't want the products to crease over there this is what the primed face is looking like i really like it i like what it looks like i think it looks really good because it's a hydrating foundation i don't really think that it's gonna i'm not gonna do a wear test on it i just want to see what it looks like maybe see how it wears for a little bit i'm gonna go in with the say brush again because honey i love this brush it is nice fluffy it blends the makeup so easily this is what it looks like it's definitely glowy there's something happening on this part of my face i don't know if it's a specific shine spot i don't know but it's just weird oh i love this the finish on this is nice. Can you imagine if it was like my actual shade? If it was my actual shade, the finish would look even better, you know? This is definitely a fall winter foundation because of what it looks like. It's definitely something that will give you that glow without like drying out your skin. Okay, next I picked up the Flash Perfector Concealer. This is a high coverage natural glow finish concealer. It's crease proof and water proof this is the shade 7n there are 22 shades 9n is the deepest shade and this is the shade 7n the bottle also looks very much like a smaller version of a skinny version of the foundation you can only use a little bit and it says that it's a natural glow finish this is what the spoolie looks like the spoolie looks like a brush okay it looks like i didn't pick a shade that was too bright so hopefully I really like the Amicole concealer brush so we're gonna use that again to blend our concealer. I like looking up when I'm blending my concealer. The concealer blends in so nicely and the good thing is it's not drying down on me like my other concealer that i absolutely like my skin is doing something right now right like you can see my skin is doing the most right now it is looking so gorgeous 
And now we're gonna set everything with the Pore Eclipse setting powder. Look at my under eyes. It's both illuminated and matte, but it hasn't like sucked the moisture out of my skin. This is very gorgeous. So I'm using the Milk Pore Eclipse setting spray. Is this one of the Dior blushes that was going crazy viral? I walked into Sephora and I saw this shade and I thought, I really want to try this out. This is the shade 015 Cherry. It took me a long time to decide on whether or not I want to buy this specific shade, okay? There was another shade there that was absolutely gorgeous, but this is the one that was calling my name. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Tell me this doesn't call your name. Tell me this doesn't feel like it's gonna give you neon vibes. The blush is doing exactly what I thought it would do. Definitely, definitely buildable. And I'm so glad I went with this shade. Do you do you see what it's doing on my skin? I don't want to intensify it because I feel like my eyes, my eyeshadow is intense enough already. Okay, I have mascara here. I completely forgot I had it. This is the Dior, Dior Show Maximizer 3D. I forgot that I had mascara. Oh wait, what? It's a primer. I got the primer instead of the actual mascara. Okay. Um, we're gonna put this away and we're gonna use an actual I'll I'll, pro, I'll try that later like I put mus I put glue on my lashes already so that means I have to move quickly last but not least we have the gloss don't ask me what look I was going for when I bought this gloss it definitely wasn't a yellow eyeshadow look I know that much but this is the one that I saw it was very cute and I thought I like this gloss, let me buy it, okay? So I'm just gonna put it on and see what it looks like. But it was such a pretty shade, bear with me. Also, I just introduced a bunch of brown lip liner into my gloss. Hmm, it's cute. This is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in the shade Raspberry. It's very cute, I absolutely Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look using Dior Backstage, full face of Dior Backstage. I like what my skin is looking like. I like my eyeshadow too. I mean, I feel like it's very subtle. I like what my skin is looking like and I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely am excited that I picked the blush. I love what it looks like. I love what my skin looks like. I feel like my skin will look better with that deeper shade but this shade is not bad at all. Like once I put the setting powder over it, everything worked so gorgeously together. The foundation, gorgeous finish, gorgeous tone. The primer, I, I'm definitely gonna be doing the primer combo that I did. I don't know if that's what like made everything, but everything looks so good. I cannot stop looking at myself. I know I'm late, but let me know down below in the comments if you've tried any of the Dior Backstage products. The lip gloss, I don't know what look it was gonna go for, but I feel like when I, when I saw it, this is the lip combo I was thinking about. So that is it for me showing you guys the Dior Backstage let me know down below in the comments if you've tried it let me know what you think about it let me know what you do when it comes to the primer because I'm definitely going to keep mixing it with a mattifying primer so I can get like a gorgeous base Dior is not they're not out here playing okay so thank you so much for watching love you lots and I'll see you in my next video bye